Today's video is sponsored by nobility.co.uk The leading company in selling legal titles in the United Kingdom. Get a 10% discount in any purchase by mentioning Death Row. Jachuran Siripongs was born on October 19, 1951, in Thailand. He was born into poverty and was raised in a brothel after his parents separated. He was physically abused and grew up in a rat-infested compound without running water or electricity. At age 20, his first brush with trouble came in 1975, when he was shot in the head while robbing a department store. He was imprisoned but was released early for good behavior, going on to train briefly as a Buddhist monk. He soon left the monastery, getting a job as a cook on a cargo ship where he met an acquaintance who proposed a drug smuggling scheme. Instead, Sir Pongs went to U.S. authorities, participating in a sting operation that netted him enough money to buy passage to the United States. Arriving in the United States he continues his criminal activities. Jachuran Siripongs was convicted of robbery, burglary and two counts of first-degree murder in the December 15, 1981 deaths of Pakovin Pat, Watanaporan and Kwachin Guyen. An Orange County jury sentenced Siripongs to death on April 22, 1983. The bodies of Watanaporn and Nguyen were found in a storeroom of the Watanaporn small retail store, Ponte Market, in Garden Grove, California. Mrs. Watanaporn had been strangled to death. Nguyen, a store employee, suffered multiple stab wounds to his head, neck, and defensive wounds on his hands and right arm. Police also found a cord tied around his right arm. The time of death for both victims was estimated to be 12.30 p.m. Police found blood stains throughout the store. The following day, police searched a dumpster and found blood-stained clothing and a bloody cord like the one tied on Guyen's arm. Sarah Pongs was arrested December 17 when he tried to make purchases using credit cards belonging to the Watanaporns. A subsequent analysis of Siripong's blood revealed that several blood stains found at the murder scene, the blood stained clothes and the bloody cord were consistent with his blood type. He had numerous cuts on his fingers. Siripong's occasionally worked at the Ponte Market. A police search of Siripong's car and home revealed a knife set similar to the weapon used to kill Nguyen several pieces of Mrs. Watanaporn's jewelry, and department store receipts for purchases bearing Mrs. Watanaporn's name dated after her murder. Police also found dried blood in Sir Pong's car. He was convicted in the 1981 deaths of the manager and a clerk at an Orange County food store where he had once worked. Although he admitted helping rob the store, he insisted he was not the killer. However, he has refused to say who committed the murders, and was sentenced to death. Sarah Pongs was 26 years old and had lived in the United States for about a year when he robbed the Ponte Market on the afternoon of December 15, 1981. The Watanaporns ran an import business, and jewelry was sold at the store. Police allege that he strangled Pakovin Watanaporn the store manager, using a nylon cord. He then stabbed the store's clerk, Quach Nguyen, a Vietnamese immigrant and father of four, several times in the head and neck. Nguyen's body was found with the cord wrapped around his arm. The fact that cuts were also found on Sir Pong's hand suggested to police that Nguyen mounted a fierce struggle. Surakai Watanaporn found the bodies a few hours later lying face down in a puddle of blood in the store's storage closet. Police arrested Sir Pongs two days later when he tried to purchase a television set with Pakovin Watanaporn's credit card. At trial, prosecutors submitted more than 100 items of evidence, 
much of it consisting of items recovered from a dumpster near the Saritas home of Sir Pong's girlfriend. They included Watana Porn's wallet and purse, a pair of blood-stained shoes found to be Sir Pong's size, and a bloody kitchen knife. While he was on death row, Guards described him as unfailingly polite and cooperative and former prison warden Daniel Vasquez, a strong supporter of the death penalty, recommended clemency on the grounds that rewarding Sir Pong's behavior would set a good example for other inmates. Sir Pong's also had drawn praise for his art, with supporters recently displaying a varied collection in Oakland. An autobiographical sketch done in pencil and called Transformation, showed a young boy in big square glasses, a religious figure among lotus blossoms, a muscular man and, finally, a skull. Before his execution, Thailand had made appeals for clemency to Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, President Clinton and California Governor Gray Davis but called the case an internal affair of the United States. Thailand has the death penalty and carries out executions by machine gun. Prosecutors said it was time Siripong's was punished. Siripong's has been privileged to live over 16 years since his conviction and sentence. Orange County Prosecutor Jim Tanisoki wrote in a response to the clemency petition. These are 16 years that Kwach Nguyen and Pat Watanaporn, and their respective families, have been denied. During his 16 years on death row, Sir Pong's won some unusual allies. Guards described him as unfailingly polite and cooperative and former San Quentin State Prison Warden Daniel Vasquez, a strong supporter of the death penalty, and who presided over two executions recommended clemency on the grounds that rewarding Sir Pong's behavior would set a good example for other inmates. On February February 9, 1999 Jachuran Sir Pong's was executed by lethal injection in California. Jachuran J. Sir Pong's didn't mouth any last words after the beige death chamber curtain opened. He didn't kick his legs or shake a fist. He never opened his eyes. And, for reasons unknown, it took him longer to die early than any other death row inmate killed by lethal injection in California. The three men put to death in the same way here before him died five minutes or less. Siribong's lasted 15 minutes. While on death row awaiting execution. Every day, Jachuran Siribong's sits or kneels alone in his San Quentin cell tunes out the echoing clamor of the prison's death row and quietly prays. This has been his ritual since he arrived nearly 16 years ago for the 1981 robbery and murders of a store manager and clerk in Orange County. The polite, 43-year-old native of Thailand will perform this ceremonial Boon Khan, a Thai Buddhist term for gratitude or obligation, as usual but it will likely be for the last time. Barring a last-minute court action, a deadly mixture of drugs was pumped into Sir Pong's veins at 12.01 a.m. making him the sixth condemned inmate, and the first minority, to be executed in California since the death penalty was reinstated in 1977. His last meal consisted of two cans of Lucky Arctic iced tea and two cups of Mission Pride canned peaches. Governor Pete Wilson refused to spare his life, rejecting a plea for clemency on the grounds that the crime was too brutal. It was, for all intents and purposes, outside San Quentin State Prison on the night of his execution, anti-death penalty advocates clashed with death penalty supporters. Punches were thrown, causing Marin County police to separate the two groups. Thank you for watching Death Row.